Welcome, welcome to Covering the Basis with the Mets. I'm Teresa Aronson from the St. Lucie County Chamber of Commerce. It's our pleasure, our honor to facilitate this event every single month. We do it on the third Wednesday. We do it right here at the SLC TV studios at the corner of 25th and Virginia in Fort Pierce. It's free, it's open to the public, and we even provide Jimmy John subs, potato chips, and most importantly, pickles, if you show up to be a part of our studio audience. Um, every month we feature a student athlete in the St. Lucie County school system or resident, it doesn't matter either way. But please welcome my co-host, Lauren Diacides from the Mets organization. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Of course. I always start every show by telling people I'm at the chamber, but still everybody thinks I work at the Mets. Yeah. Whatever show they watch, they think I work there, but um, that but that's sense. okay. Yeah. It is. So we have our student athlete. So welcome yeah. to the show, Sebastian Bass. Sebastian, welcome. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? A little nervous. You're nervous? Yeah. Is it bit. the lights or the green uh, screen or uh, the audience? A little bit of everything. Or the mic? Yeah, yeah. A little, a little bit of everything. It's super easy peasy though. We're just going to talk about you for like a second. And okay. then you, uh, then I promise you get a nice sub and a pickle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so you play baseball? Yes, ma'am. And where do you play baseball at? Uh, St. Lucie West Centennial. And how did you start with like like Lauren's son? Start T-ball? Yeah, and... Yes, ma'am. I started since I was playing T-ball. You, were, you have? Yes, ma'am. And you play in a league. How does that work? Do you play in a, because they have little leagues, right? When can you start playing at school? Uh, freshman year of high school. Oh. Um, but I didn't really play little league growing up. I kind of just traveled with my travel team a lot. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So for people at home, there's two <laughs> way to play sports in America. <laughs> One is... Rec ball. Yeah. Is what? Well, they call it rec little league. Little League is rec ball for yeah. novices. If you're good, you get picked up by a travel team, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And then you go play everywhere. Um, so that's always the goal, a travel team. It's a, it's a little bit above rec ball. What travel team did you play for? Uh, I played for the Gamblers. Uh, I played for the PSL Bombers. And I played for um, the Delray Tigers. Oh, nice. Oh, so. you played for a Delray team yes. too? Wow. wow. Yes. So you were recruited. <laughs> Kind, yes, kind of. Yeah. Yes. We can tell. Yeah. You don't have to be yeah. modest. We already know. If you were playing for Delray, you got recruited. And um, you're going to play in college because everybody yes. that we're featuring is a senior. Yes, ma'am. And where are you going to play? Uh, Palm Beach State College. And why did you choose Palm Beach State? Um, I plan on studying construction management, and they have that. So uh, my first priority is schooling, and then baseball is second. So it's good for you. Where's your parents? They need it, oh, right? That's because usually everybody's dream is to play baseball and we as we know what's the i mean lauren works for the mets what's the percentage that it's you're going to make less it less than one percent one percent of your travel team players <laughs> yeah. are making it in baseball right yes. so um construction management that is a slam dunk you yeah. you will have no issues there yeah so does somebody in your family do construction um yes actually my uncle uh played for the mets and he played uh independent ball and he does construction management. I've been doing um, construction with him since I was 13. He oh, played awesome. for the, the St. Yes. Lucie Mets? Or uh, the, he New made York? all the way to Syracuse oh, back okay. from 1996 to 1998. Well, Paul well, might know him. Paul, yeah. Paul, Paul knows him and Tag. Oh, yeah, they yeah, both yeah. know him. They're both very close with him. Oh, What's who is it? Uh, Chad Durek. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. him too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's your uncle. Okay, yes. there you go. You yeah. have Mets roots. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't that was Bobby Malik's era, though. Bobby was after that, right? Uh, Yeah, he was more early 2000s. 2000s, yeah. Because yeah. Bobby Malik is our um, Jimmy John sub provider. He owns <laughs> Jimmy John. So the Mets tend to stay around here, which is kind of yes. nice. Yeah. Right, is he from here originally? Are you yes. guys from here? Oh, uh -huh. really? Yes, he was uh, drafted out of high school from Port St. Lucie. Wow. Yes. Runs in the family. Trying to. Trying to. <laughs> I'm trying. Yes. What position do you play? Um, grew up, I was catching and pitching most of my life. Um, and this year, I was actually um, kind of forced to have to change my position to just straight pitching because of my size. Um, uh, usually, a catcher is, you know, 5'10 and above and 200 plus. And that's just not going to happen with me any anytime soon maybe in another life but not right now no you'll so be, um, trust me you'll be glad about that when you get older. yes your knees um, will be happy yes yeah, that's my knees and my too. hips are, are definitely happy um to become a pitcher only um so and i wanted to stay in florida um just because i, I don't like the cold 
and Palm Beach State is only 45 minutes away. And, and it's south. Yes, and there's a lot of stuff to do down there and I can still come home and hunt whenever I want to and um, Fort Pierce, so. Good, have your mom yes. do your laundry. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like to do that stuff by myself. You do? Yes. Oh, he, I, you, you're Teach different my from my kids. Yeah, yeah. same. Um, so tell me, why does the picture have to be so big? Why, no, catcher. A ca catcher. Um, just because of a, a bigger target, um, better, better, um, stronger, obviously, than, you know, a guy that's 6'5 and, you know, 180 pounds. Um, but it's kind of just, you know, a bigger target, bigger, bigger zone. Um, and now the baseball is moving to the, you know, computer umpires. You kind of just have to be big just to catch the ball now and you have to hit. And I wasn't the best hitter growing up. So um, it was just kind of obvious just to. And pitchers typically don't hit, right? Mm -mm. I hit this year during high school, but that was it. It was kind of just to live out my, my batting for high school ball and then go to college and just pitch when I'm supposed to and, you know, yeah. take ibuprofen when everybody says to. <laughs> and never hit, <laughs> so, yeah, pitchers don't hit. Um, They're going to um, mechanical or IT so the umpires? Minor league, St. Lucie does it. It's automated. It's like um, the umpire has um, like an earpiece and it's run by the computer guy upstairs and then he gets like one So he gets weeks. told yeah. it's a strike. Or, so does it cause but, less less fights? Like, uh, are they less uh, angry it's, about it's it? A, it's a little you bit can, more. Each team has three um, challenges. challenges. And then if it's approved or whatever, you keep that challenge. I mean, because the ump's not making the call anymore. That's yeah, part of the fun of mm -hmm. baseball. It's a little bit. I don't I don't really like care for it. But it's not in the major leagues yet. Yeah. It's not in the major leagues yet. It'll get there, right? Probably, yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. It might be more accurate, but it's so less fun. <laughs> oh. This, I guess, speeds up the game, I guess. I, I don't they know. They already sped up the game with the new Pit, um, pitch, clock. pitch clock. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Boy, we're Americans. We want everything fast. <laughs> super fast. Fast, super fast. Even our baseball now. Yeah. yeah. Huh. All right. Well, I'm I'm excited for you to go. Your parents thank aren't you. with us today, no, but um, She's working today. thank them for for letting you come in and be a part of this. And just so you know, this leads to a possible thousand um, dollar scholarship from the Mets organization. At the end of the year, we award it every year to one senior mm -hmm. in April. In is April, when we so do that. For, yeah, but you'd still be eligible. Yep, members. everybody for a full oh. year. So keep that in mind. But I personally want to thank you for coming down on such short notice. Yes, I appreciate it so course. much. <laughs> and we'll make sure that you get a link and your parents get a link to the show. And um, and if you're an avid watcher of TV 20, right? <laughs> 28, <laughs> you can watch it on regular TV. But otherwise, we'll send you a YouTube link. Yes, ma'am. All right. Awesome. Thanks for being with us. Yes, ma'am. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. I'm Teresa Aronson, and I'm now joined by not only my one and only co-host, Lauren T Diacides. I say that until they send me somebody else. Um, but also from the Mets organization, Casey Blair. Hello. Hi. I'm back. I know it. <laughs> um, let's talk about what's going on at the Mets this season. So it's June. It's June. It's June. Welcome to June, everybody. Summer mm -hmm. is here. It, it's here. Summer's here. Um, you've got two or one summer game during the day, during the week? One in July. July? Yes. And uh, that'll be the Summer Passport Day yes. that uh, the Chamber of Commerce and the Children's Services Council works with the Mets. And we work together to provide um, a pass to the Mets game through summer camps that are funded by the Children's Services Council. And we even give them a hot dog and a water. Mm -hmm. And chip. And, chips. and chip. Oh, yep. yep. And so hopefully there'll be a lot of kids there that day. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's and then always fun. A lot of promotions, right? Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going through the end of the year, really. So mm -hmm. um, June, I got to think military through my calendar here. Yeah, we have Military Appreciation Weekend, which is the 20th to the 22nd. Love it. Um, so we have custom yep. jerseys uh, that the players will be wearing. And on the 20th, the Thursday night, um, 
any veteran or active duty military can get a free ticket. Uh, the VVA chapter 566, um, they sponsor that. So they pay for all of the tickets and then they distribute them for free to all of the veterans. It's a really cool that. program. Yeah, we have a couple partners, sponsor partners that get on board to help them cover the cost of the tickets. And But it's a really cool mm -hmm. event. We'll do a lot of pregame, um, like a video. So if people want to add their family or friends or themselves, if they have a photo um, from when they were in the military, they can email that to us. Um, and and we do a pregame video the, all three days. So it's like a photo scroll. And we usually have like, 100, 150 different photos that we scroll through um, for that. So it's really cool. I love that. Yeah. And then, of course, we have July 4th. So that's big, a big, big one fireworks. to talk about. Yeah. If um, we're allowed to show. have fireworks, because it's been a pretty dry season. Yeah. But yeah. we're only in June, so it's going to be so wet by July. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I know it. But yeah, following up, though, with Sebastian. So Chad, his uncle, actually um, partners with us for our July 4th game. He does a pregame softball game and home run derby that day. Um, so the activity really goes on July 4th, goes all day long. Um, and he does it for charity. So he has people sign up. They pay to play in the softball game or to be a part of the home run derby. Um, and some of the money this year, it's going to Honor Flight. So Southeast Florida Honor mm. Flight, which is really a really great group. Yeah. Um, and we also have, they have fundraiser tickets for sale where portions of the tickets they sell go to honor flight as well so chad does that and then we follow the game with the of course the biggest and best fireworks show on the treasure coast uh and then the finals of the home run derby are actually after the fireworks so we always have a lot of people stick okay. around to watch those final like two or three guys you know just way farther than our baseball Ex players hit the ball so. yeah explain the home run derby to me so they, he has like, I don't know, maybe like 20 people that sign up and they get like a certain amount of time. I think they get like a minute, 30 seconds to hit as many home runs. So they just have somebody just like continuously lobbing, in lobbing in. slow pitch um, softball pitches to them. Okay. And then they basically do rounds. So if like the top. it's a softball though, is it still the, the fence? Yeah. Really? Yeah, they go, they use our main stadium fence. So they don't do a shorter fence or anything. They do... Wow. Full distance, yeah. Who is getting in the soft, like a, there's what, a, amateurs walking around like, I can hit it. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a good crew. And usually there's two or three guys every year that like will hit the scoreboard. So wow. they hit them hard enough or go over like our Corona deck. Okay. Uh, so, and usually Chad is like the top hitter, but I don't know if he's going to be uh, participating this year. Is that so. cheating since he was a former it's a, player? <laughs> maybe, I mean... It's a different ball, different bat. Yeah. That's true. It is a different ball. I mean, a softball yeah. is yeah. a little bit harder. To... And the ball's not coming in as fast, yeah. so you yeah, do have yeah. to swing harder. It's definitely harder. harder. But yeah, it's a, but anyways, it is a big, of course, our biggest game of the year, and um, it is a big fundraiser for Southeast Florida Honor Flight, so we're really excited about that. And I have to miss it again this year, which stinks, but I, yeah, I got to be, a, I'm good. Brooke's having a baby. Oh, oh that's sorry. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got to be up there, so, but we're excited awesome. about that. What else is going on? I know we do, actually, I don't know. We we did our swing into reading. We we switched that last year mm -hmm. to an after after the school year event instead of before the next school year event. So we don't get rained out. Yeah, we got rained so. out so many years. We just sort of gave up, so it's hard to. Yeah. And last year it was packed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was packed. So that was, it was so much nicer. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, good. All right, anything else we need to tell them about? Oh, we are doing a giveaway, right, for military oh, yeah, for military on ah. June 20th, we're going to do, Delta's doing a replica, like, jersey shirt of the jerseys that the players will be wearing. Love it. So the first so many people, 500, 500, people. 500 people to come through the gate will get a replica jersey mm -hmm. that day. Oh, the first so. 500. Oh, my parents are going to want to be there bright and early. That's there a Thursday, go. so I know they'll it. be there. Yeah, yeah. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays <laughs> is their game days. If you've got a game in town on Tuesday or Thursday, they're going. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I wanted to say that our, our spelling bee, which you guys are typically a part of, is going to be in August, so that's coming up. And then our golf tournament, which you also guys you come out for, is in June. <laughs> um, and then All Things Treasure Coast has all of your – it should have all of your events and all of our events mm -hmm. and um, everybody's events. It's a free – platform for anybody to list their events and we get like 200,000 impressions on that thing a month so if you're not putting your events up there for free you are really missing out mm -hmm. on an opportunity a free opportunity all things treasure coast everybody remember that all right anything else we need to tell everybody before we get into trivia 
We have a new person doing trivia. She did it last time, I think, though, too. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, anything else oh, we need right, to mention? Yeah, trivia. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, I think we're good. I, who has the trivia? Casey has it. Okay, I was going to say have it, it was hidden here. away so you guys don't cheat. I know, because Lauren tried I to did cheat. Not. Yeah. I was looking at <laughs> Sebastian's bio, and I didn't know that it was on the other side. It is on the other side. Okay, we are ready. Everybody ready? <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Who won last month? I think it was me. Oh. Really? And I think you won the, the time before that yeah, when I was did. here. Oh, so Lauren's on a streak. Check the tape. All right. <laughs> okay, we'll start <clears throat> with some. So this is a geography category, but it's not all geography. There are some like random questions okay. mixed up in here. Geography, so really great, first question, geography and not, history. not geography. Okay. What awareness month? Uh, wait a minute. These are for the wrong month. All right, everybody, for these are for the wrong month. These are for May, but that's fine. Okay. We're going to just roll with it. Yeah. Uh, what awareness month is May? Like, what type of awareness is the I month I know of this May? because I go to a thousand meetings, and I was handed a ribbon. <laughs> and that's the only reason why I know this. Mental oh. health. Yep. Did we both get mental it? Mental health no, awareness I got month. I put it's a green ribbon for your own edification. It's a green ribbon. Mm-hmm. We did mental health jerseys last year. We did a mental health night. Are you mentally? I'm just confused, but I figured it out now. Okay. Okay. We're good? Yeah. <laughs> it's May. I know. We, we got in the time back. We got in the hot it's tub. Fine. It's fine. Uh, That's fine. We're movie. just going to, I'm going to skip the second question because it's also a make question. So we'll just move on from okay. that. Okay. All right. Number three. What? No, uh, this could be a debatable question but we'll just go with your best answer i don't like what ambiguous year, questions what year was the best year for the mets could be I debatable mean, can i go with the one that we just had you could go with whatever you okay. want to go with okay so they won in 90 and then Whoa. yeah and then um we had what year was that we all just one just pick one Wait, it wasn't Just pick one date. It was oh, I got it. Um, we might give um, the miracle. So notes? yes, eighty six is the answer on the list, but it, I don't know what either one of those dates are. So oh. you're definitely not getting points for that. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one was didn't, half COVID year. So. I know, but it, didn't we go up there and it was crowded and we couldn't even get the suite because all the tickets sold out because they were having a really good year. No. <laughs> yes. We weren't in the owner's box. We were in some random box. Yeah. The year we went to Detroit. That was in 2022. Well, I was close. <laughs> I was so and confused. I was close doing well for being there. I they, didn't even know when I was there. So we've, well, we've won two World the Series, they lost 69 in the playoffs, and 86. But it was the most crowded I'd ever seen. The, yeah. the field. But 1986 <laughs> is the Miracle Mets. The Miracle Mets. I don't work for the Mets. <laughs> we have big banners all over I the mean, place. How many right. years have we been doing this show? A long time. Yeah. All right, here we go. I should have known that. This one's going to be a lot of writing, so get ready. Oh, God. What are the names of the five oceans of the world? Oh, my God. This question is going to be worth five points, so you can get a point for each one of them. <laughs> Oh my god, why am I blinking? How are we feeling? I just got three. Okay. Okay, Lauren, does it, let's does see. Does the yours. audience want to weigh in on them? Yell Lauren, them out. Lauren, you definitely got three points. Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic. Nope, you got, yes, you got three. Pacific? Mediterranean, oh, Indian. Nope. Indian. You have four. You got four of the five. Indian. And yep, Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Arctic, and Antarctic. Antarctic. Oh. Antarctic. I got four. But Antarctic? You know, I don't understand why they're different That's a C. names. The sea. Mm -hmm. When it's all connected. Um. Okay, so we're just gonna go with one. Ocean. <laughs> the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> well, it's all connected. Well, then how will I know? Like, if I say I'm in the ocean, I could be. I could be in the Antarctic. You're not. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I got here's four. a here's a switch up. Okay. 80s music. Love it. 
That's not Lauren fair. hates it. La Lauren wasn't born uh, yet. Yes, Lauren, you might get a, you might get a couple of these. 88. Really? 88. Um, okay. Which American singer and teen icon is famous for her 1987 cover of I Think We're Alone Now? <laughs> How is Lauren going to know these? There's no chance I'm not going to know these. That's the sad thing. This is biased. No chance. This I'm is not biased know. trivia. Oh, well, that's a good guess, but yes, yeah, so it's Tiffany. It was oh. Tiffany. I do know and her the mall song. tour and her red hair. You might you may might have know seen this her one, in a mall. Lauren. Okay. Which iconic Simple Minds song plays during the opening and closing credits of The Breakfast Club? I can okay, I can sing it. Um. <laughs> I do not know the name of the song. Um, do you know a lyric from the song? Because that could be the answer. Is it the answer? Wait, wait, wait. Give me two seconds. I know. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Is it, is it a long one? Did I have to write the whole? Okay. It could be. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, I think Lauren Street might be over today. Uh oh. Well, they went 80s music. There's no chance Lauren's getting this. There's a little know. bias. I don't know. What is it? Yes. Don't, don't you forget, you forget, about, forget about me. me. Yeah. 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 You know got where it, got I got it. Like, got I, it. yeah. 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 In Pitch Perfect. I remember that. See, if you do, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, you could have said in Pitch Perfect, it, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah. I know. No, um, Pitch Perfect. Or okay. the younger folks. Survivor's Eye of the Tiger was the theme song for which boxing movie? Oh, come on. There's Am only I going to be picky? Yeah. No. You're not going to be picky. Because I only saw one. <laughs> I think it might have been in all of them. Rocky. Yeah. Yes. Is Rocky it Rocky three. two or three? Oh, yeah, yeah. I only saw the one. I tapped out. All right. Last, one. last question. You should get this one, Lauren. Okay. If you don't, I'll be really disappointed. Okay. Aww. <laughs> I want a lot of pressure. According, <laughs> according to the Beastie Boys, oh, gosh. what right do you have to fight for? Oh, well, we all oh, know that yeah. one, right? To party. That is Actually, right. technically, it's to party. Yes. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know how to spell that. P a r t a y y y. I think uh, I think Teresa might have won this week. Yeah, she well, definitely Well, it was 80s did. music trivia, so you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm gonna have the we'll Breakfast do history Club next month. song in my head for the rest of the I day. know, and I am not a huge fan of that song, and I feel a little bad about it. I mean, right? Are any of you like? That no. one in the Tiffany song. I got to I got to admit I was a big Tiffany fan back in the day, but that is, you know, that was my age group. Yeah, I know that was not. Tiffany fair. and I are probably next, the same age. Next if we do month, 90s we're gonna do music. 90s 2000s music. I will I'm down for it. You know I love music. I can do music 90s older. Rap. Yeah. I'll do I'll do 2020 trap music. I'll do all of it. <laughs> I love it. No idea. All right. Well, I want to thank everybody for coming with um, here today. I want to remind everybody you can get your tickets to stlucymets.com and give them the prices for the summer games because they're relatively inexpensive and it's a great way to spend the day. I mean, the stadium itself is gorgeous. You can just walk around there and have fun, mm -hmm. even if you're not a huge baseball fan. Yeah. I mean, tickets range from $6 to $12, $14, depending if you want a reserve seat behind home plate. Is that new, the reserve seat behind home so plate? So we used to only do six rows, but yes. this year it's the five, the full sections right behind yes. home plate. So you can get some reserve seats. Literally, I've like some of the upper rows, nobody's going to sit around you because everybody chooses the lower rows. So you can they have do. like a whole area to yourself. But I did hear about the fact that the, the whole bottom Oh, from section. the Silver Sluggers. Yes. I'm sure the you did. The Silver Sluggers are like, I have to go Well, up. they can sit behind the dugout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they can't sit behind home plate They can't sit behind anymore. home plate anymore. Were your parents? The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they are. But also we do have like discounted rates too. So if somebody has 15 or more people, a group, they can get a discounted ticket to $7 or $8 for fireworks nights. Okay. So there's a lot of can different options. Can you buy options. season tickets for the Mets? Mm -hmm. You can, yes. Okay. Yep. And it's uh, basically like a GA ticket pack. So if you don't come to one game, you can use those tickets for another okay, game. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that's not the lower seats. 
Uh, it no, can be. It can be. Yeah, okay. you can choose lower seats. We do have some that reserve seats. I have a feeling there, they're so. going to make me upgrade them because <laughs> they don't like going up the two steps. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Well, thank you to everybody. Thank you to Jimmy John's um, and the Mets and to everybody that came down today. Make sure you grab something to eat and a pickle before they're gone. And to um, Sebastian Bass, our athlete of the of the day or the month. Mm -hmm. um, it was nice of him to come. And Stefan and Mike in the studio audience, have a great day, everybody. Till next time.